Okay, before we primer this baby up, we'll go ahead and uh, paint the interior frame of the canopy. Uh, we do it this way because it's uh, easier and you can see through it uh, using cockpit green, 1-1 uh, one, one mix here. Now we'll go ahead and cover it up with black because uh, right now the cockpit green is probably see-through. Black will just give it a good background. Okay, let's go ahead and primer this baby up. What I'm using here is uh, Vallejo's uh, gray primer, uh, acrylic urethane. Now this stuff is awesome. You can shoot it straight out of the bottle. Or you could go ahead and thin it just to save some primer uh, out of one one mix with whatever you mix your Vallejo paints with. Now I don't usually primer my models. I usually just shoot it straight uh, onto the model the colors uh, when I was using Tamiya. But I find with Vallejo that it's better to primer uh, the model because the paint actually sticks on much better. Uh, try just shooting the paint straight onto the model before and um, the Vallejo is very very soft so it comes out and chips on me sometimes when I'm banging the model around too much when I'm working with it. Now one thing I forgot to put on uh, was to put on the uh, wing connectors here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it and just glue it into the wing roots. Now when you're gonna connect the wings with it unfolded, you're gonna have to drill a hole in this area. Okay, time for pre-shading. What I'm doing here is mixing um, the black primer with uh, Windex, a uh, one-on-one -on -one, uh, ratio mix here. Now some people don't believe that uh, pre-shading works. It does work as long as when you're putting on the overcoat, uh, or sorry, the base coat over the pre-shading, it's going to have to be light uh, and in layers, in uh, various layers until uh, you get the pre-shading to where it's wet and you're spraying onto it and it disappears. but then you leave the area and when it dries you actually see the pre-shading come through so it takes a little practice and once you get it down it looks really really awesome now here I'm shooting about uh, 15 PSI's uh, 15 to 20 um, and then uh, shooting at a really thin spray with the trigger barely pulled back Now when you're doing pre-shading lines here, um, it should not be conformed, it, can't, it shouldn't be straight. I mean, it's okay to have it, you know, a little wiggly, a little off and stuff. It, it shouldn't be perfect because when it comes out um, in real life, you know, the, the panel lines you're seeing on the paint and the way it weathers out the plane, um, it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. So just remember that. You don't have to have exact thin straight lines when you're doing uh, pre-shading lines. Now I'm going to be using Game Colors Ultramarine Blue for the first uh, base coat color, the top of the plane, and I will mix it uh, about a 1-1 one -one ratio with uh, Windex. Now this is straight up Windex, and it works great, and uh, as long as you clean your airbrush, you won't get gunk into in it afterwards. Now um, normally with Game Color, I do a 1-1 one -one mix with uh, Windex. With uh, Model Color, It'd be a little different. I mix it about maybe a one to ten ratio because the uh, pigment's a lot more, much, much more uh, thick uh, on the uh, model color line. Now you'll notice that I do put a couple of drops of white, foundation white, into the uh, mix here just to lighten it up just a little bit. I've also tried a uh, mixed solution uh, using 
Vallejo's uh, airbrush cleaner and um, Vallejo's thinner uh, with the uh, 10 to 2 ratio I believe it was um, 10 parts um, cleaner uh, airbrush cleaner and two parts of uh, Vallejo thinner that worked uh, pretty well too but I find Windex a much cheaper solution to use and it mixes just as well maybe even a little better now I'm shooting um, at regular PSI that my compression puts out which is about 35 PSI um, face it out a bit more maybe about uh, 7 to 80 inches and do light um, layered spray so that uh, your pre-shading comes out just fine now you'll know when to move on the next part when your pre-shading almost disappears on you and then when you move away and that part dries you'll see the pre-shading come straight out at you now for the second base coat color which is the bottom plane I'll be using uh, model colors uh, foundation white and this would be a 1 to 10 mix, uh, 1 part uh, paint and 10 part uh, mix, which I will be using Windex for this. Now, uh, mixing with a Vallejo paint is not an exact science, so you can't just stick with one ratio. What I do is just start out with, you know, model color 1 to 10, um, game color uh, 1 to 1, and of course, you know, air color, you just shoot it straight out of the bottle. Uh, but what I do is just start with those ratios and then if it's too thin add more paint if it's too thick add more Windex now for the uh, mid color base coat here in the middle of the plane um, as you hear I test mastered it out here what I did was I um, cut out templates through this cardstock here this is a backing for comic books left over from my comic book collecting heydays. So what I did was cut out these templates here, just uh, various shapes that uh, will fit the uh, pattern. And then uh, what I do is just take, uh, to me, a masking tape, uh, the really big roll I have here. And then uh, just uh, put the uh, mask over it and then, uh, you know, outline it and then just cut it out with the Zacto knife. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the uh, nose section uh, of the plane. Okay, finished masking the rest of the plane off for any possible overspray. And I'm very stickler about this because when I don't tape off all the rest of the areas I always tend to do overspraying and it annoys the hell out of me so um yeah the plane looks like a ball of Tamiya tape right now for uh, this color here I'm using Vallejo's uh, game color uh, somber gray and I believe I did put a couple of drops of foundation white into the mix just to lighten up a bit Now for our final step in this video here, we'll go ahead and uh, spray a nice coat of Future on it as a gloss coat. Now it doesn't have to be Future, it could be other type of gloss coat, but Future is really, really easy to use and you can spray it straight through your airbrush. 
Uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry uh, overnight or at least a little bit more longer and just let uh, the future cure onto the model. Okay, now this is done for this video. I will see you in the next video where we'll go ahead and put on the decals and I guess do a panel line wash and some weathering.